girls poop? Never, no. <laughs> Never. Never. Right? Only on our birthday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Only uh, once a year on your birthday. On your birthday. Yeah. Okay. It's you a treat. Welcome to the People of fucking Boston. Shout out people of Boston. <laughs> Park the con Harvard Yard. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the people who do this podcast, whoever's listening. Good what? shit. That good shit. We're here with the, the people, people of Boston. Boston. They're beauties. We're chilling. Episode 28 of the People of Boston podcast coming at you guys. Uh, we were in Fenway this week, and we talked to a lot of fun people, interesting people. And uh, while we were there filming, it was the same day that Bruno Mars was at performing at the MGM uh, venue, and then Red Hot Chili Peppers were performing at Fenway. So didn't talk to any Bruno Mars fans, uh, which honestly I was fine with. But talked to Red Hot Chili Peppers fans, and I came prepared with a fun fact about the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which, if you listen, you'll hear me talking to uh, people attending the concert and quizzing them on that fun fact. And the fun fact is, where did the Red Hot Chili Peppers get the inspiration for their name? So if you guys know, then you already know, but if not, then that's kind of sprinkled into these conversations. Uh, So we have four different people that we talked to, and like I said, everybody was awesome, and the questions and topics we were kind of going out there with today, one of them was around fantasy football, because I know football, the season just started, I'm not personally in like a fantasy football league, but I know a lot of people that are, I know it's a hot topic, so I wanted to quiz some people on fantasy football terms and kind of see if anyone's in an interesting uh, league where they got some punishment and they got to run around Uh, a Starbucks with underwear on their head or something like that. So we asked people about that. We also asked people um, about a breakup. This kind of, we've already asked people this in the past, but you know, new people, new faces. I want to see if anyone has a funny, interesting, terrible uh, breakup story. And we also asked people, and this is the most important question, do girls poop? Um, I know this is uh, heavily debated, And I personally still don't have enough evidence to make a decision. So um, hopefully these people can help me narrow down what's actually going on in the bathroom with uh, with women. But we'll uh, we'll get through it together. We'll figure it out. And I hope you guys enjoy. And we'll see you next week with a new episode. Uh, Talk to you. What's your name? It's the Metro. The Metro. Mm -hmm, The Metro bus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from the northern part of Mexico. Northern part of Mexico. All yes. right. And why are you in Boston today? I'm here because of my study abroad program. I'm going to do research to stay here. Nice. Nice. Where are you doing that? I'm doing that in Harvard Medical School. Harvard. Wow. Very yeah. good. You see, would you say you're smart? Uh, I'm working my best. You're today. working your best. That's yeah. good. Good for you. That's awesome. And Thank is you. this your girlfriend? Uh, yeah, she's a friend of mine. A friend. friend. Of mine. A friend. Yeah. Okay. Just a friend? A really good friend of mine. A really, really good friend. Really loved friend of mine. Okay, that's awesome. And then, um, how long are you in Boston for just for the studying? I'm going to be here for the studying for about a year, hopefully. Okay. okay. And hope to stay a little bit longer. If okay. No, yeah, I was going to ask, would you like to stay like after your schooling and like, like work here? Is that like what you would like to do? Uh, so far, yes. I love the city, love the place, very, like, very charming people. Here. Awesome, awesome. That's yeah. great. That's good to hear. And then what are you guys doing today walking around Fenway? We're going to take some matcha right now. Matcha? Yeah, we're going to have some matcha because she saw some on Instagram and then she's, we're going to go to Marshall's. Awesome, okay. So you're just hanging out having a day. Yeah, yes, definitely. Great. Now, uh, I got a couple questions for you. Do you mm-hmm. play uh, fantasy football? I've heard people play it and I've seen I've seen it before, yeah. Now, coming from Mexico, you probably prefer soccer or like your football, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you definitely. like American football? Ooh, love it. I played it before. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, cool. So, uh, we got a couple terms that are related to the fantasy football draft that I want to quiz you on. Okay. And just see if you know it. Now, you, you said you don't play it. Mm-hmm. So, if you don't know, just try to guess maybe what they could be. Okay. All right. So, one of them is ADP. ADP. Okay, um, I think that would be maybe the player who scored the most. So like it's sta- it's like an acronym. So it yeah. stands for like each one is is a word. What do you think that would stand for? Um, average 
something position. You, yeah, close. Average draft position. Okay, average. All right, so you're close. <laughs> Next one we got for you is bye week. Do you know what a bye week is? Bye week. Okay. Um, I believe it's gonna be something with week related. Definitely. Uh, maybe the best uh, development from one week to another. Close. So it's bye week is when a team has the week off. Okay. With it during the season. Okay. And they would be like not playing. Okay. And the last one we got for you is a PPR. PPR. Okay, I've heard that before. Um, something like personal something rate. Speak up, Pers- can't hear you, man. <laughs> yeah. Pers- personal rate. No, so it's not personal rate. It's points per reception. Points per reception. But did you give it? You gave it a good shot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and you said you guys aren't dating your friends. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. No girlfriend. Did, do you have? Have you had one ever? Yeah. Okay. A lot? No, no. No, like how many? You, just one. Just one girlfriend, you've had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you guys obviously aren't together anymore. Mm-hmm. And so we're More asking enough. people, what's your uh, what's your breakup story that you have? Is there a story to that breakup? How did you guys end up not staying together? Uh, we talked about it. We talked about it, just talked about it after a few months, and then that's about it. So you guys dated for a few months? For some months, yeah. And then, um, like, who, who initiated it? What's the story behind it? Uh, just not get, like, too into it, but I believe it was me. You initiated who, it? Yeah, okay. I was the one who initiated it. And then how did you do it? Did you tell her in person, text message? First text, first talked about it, then text message her. So you did it over text message? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, would you, is there anything you would do differently about the breakup, looking back on it? Yeah, I would be more honest and sincere with her. Okay. Definitely more, talk a little bit more about how I felt. Okay. Yeah, and how she felt, how she felt about it. Because I wasn't that, um, I wasn't on time when I was supposed to be there. And when something... Uh, when I didn't like something, uh, I didn't tell the person about it. Kept and it in. Yeah. yeah, kept it in, and couldn't manage the situations when she actually told me about how she was feeling. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And how did she take it? Was she? Um, do you think? She, did she take it well? Was she upset? Was she pissed uh, at you? Maybe a bit sad. sad. I would say. Uh, yeah. about how the things went. Pandemic was a huge factor, definitely. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. No, that's all good. That's all good. Uh, well, not good, but <laughs> no, yeah. thanks for sharing. Um, last question we have for you, and it's a little silly, but do you think that uh, girls, women, do you think that they poop? Uh, you know, I've heard myths <laughs> about it. You've heard myths? I have, I have heard myths. <laughs> There's rumors around the city There's going r- on. They say pretty girls don't. <laughs> I do believe it. I do believe it. So pretty I girls don't. don't. I, I don't think she poops at all. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't poop. She doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and do you, so you think maybe not, not pretty girls that aren't as pretty, you think that they do? Uh, maybe they do maybe. once in a while. Maybe. Have yeah. you ever seen a girl poop? Never in my life. Never. Mm-hmm. So I think that's that's what we're that's why I'm asking because I re- I, I can't find somebody that's ever seen a girl poop or, or heard of it. Or right? Heard of it? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And that's that's I mean we're getting closer to the bottom of it. So thanks for your help. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet everybody. you. Pleasure and then have a good time. All right. Enjoy the matcha. Enjoy the matcha. Thanks for stopping. What's your name? I'm um, Caitlin. Caitlin. What are you doing in Boston? Um, I go to Emmanuel College. Okay, nice. What are you doing there? What are you studying? Um, I think I want to major in writing, editing, and publishing, but I'm undecided right now. Okay, why would you, why that field? I don't know. I just like I wanted to do English, but then I was like, I'm really not into the reading as much as I am into like the writing and papers yeah. and stuff like that. Sure. And like the jobs that you can get are super freelance, so I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, a lot of freedom, a lot of creativity. So would you like to maybe have your own blog or have your own type of news outlet? Like, what would you like to do? I'd, like, thought about that. Like, I wouldn't want my own blog, but I'd like to, like, blog for other people, basically. Gotcha. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like to write about or follow in terms of Mm -hmm. journalism? I guess, like, pop culture, things like that, fashion trends, that kind of stuff. Okay. What do you think about what's going on with Don't Worry Darling, that whole movie? I'm worried, darling. I'm worried. (laughs) You're worried? Um, like Harry Styles with the, like the eight different accents. Yeah. And I guess he like 
spit on somebody. And there Chris like a, Pine. Yeah. Chris Pine spit on somebody. My no, bad. well, no. Alleged. So Harry Styles, oh, Harry Styles you were Styles right. Spit on, on Chris, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. So Did you see the clips of that? I saw the clip. I couldn't tell if he spit or not. But it was, was hard. Like, to, it was hard to tell, but it looked weird. It didn't look right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. And there's a lot of a lot of stuff. So is that something you would cover? Like if you were, like, do you like that kind of stuff? All those little, yeah. dra- the drama between people yes. like that. Yes. Oh my god, it's so fun. What other drama right now is going on that maybe I wouldn't? I'm not a big pop culture guy. Other drama. There's something that's, that's standing out on. right now. Well, I know on the set of that movie, Florence Florence Pugh, I think is how you pronounce it, yeah. is making like less money than Harry Styles. Okay. Even though that's, she's that's like a- the actress and he's like. Yeah kind of a gimmick honestly he's kind of a gimmick that's tough because he's not an actor but he is big right he's like huge, he, yeah. i mean he'll sell out stadiums and arenas but florence uh po- whatever it is pug Q. Q? she's a great actress i mean why uh, did you see midsummer midsummer I watched, was insane i watched midsummer with my my dad and that was like not <laughs> yeah no <laughs> honestly at least you had someone there to watch it with because i think that movie is like top five like freakiest movies it's i've ever seen up. Oh it's, it God. makes you like i walked outside after and felt like i was in like a simulation or like something no, like, seriously. You know what I mean? Like when the, the old people like jumped out the cliff. Oh yeah, like, that no. scene is when it starts. Like, that's when every, I mean, it does. It starts early, but that's when it like no oh goes downhill. Yeah. I was like, what am I watching? Yeah. Like, it's kind of a good point though. For people who haven't seen the movie, the older people will jump off like a, a at a certain age. They'll basically just kill themselves. Yeah. And it like ends their at, at every single age. You can't live any longer than this certain age. That I think they it was set. like fifty or something. Like something young. It was something young. Yeah. By especially by like our standards in like yeah. society today. And then they just kill themselves at that age. And it's like they would. They said that their rationale, looking at us, it's weird that we put our old elderly in like a nursing home and let them almost just like keep getting older. Even even though they're, like, yeah. they're out of it or whatever it may be. I think, it, I mean, that's kind of a good point, no? Do you think? Yeah, but still, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's still weird. I don't, right? I don't love the, like, the internet's take on Midsummer because people are like, oh, good for her. She's happy with those people now. Like, it's a white supremacist cult. You, you think it but was? I think it is. I do think it because is. There was... it's, it's all white blonde people and people are like oh she's finally happy it's like yeah they literally gaslit her into joining a cult like they're also in europe though in europe it's i mean depending on where you no, go but it's also like have you ever seen any of the other may queens no 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 exactly yeah so you, they don't live long that's all i'm saying probably yeah. shove them off the cliff exactly she, right after they burned her boyfriend alive she's like i'm the may queen they they killed her yeah you think i know they killed her so you don't think it was a happy ending even i don't it know appeared that to kind was of be... not a happy ending yeah yeah definitely nah. not um so off the movie i do you play fantasy football are you in a league no no is it fun uh, so I don't. I don't even. You don't? I'm not in one as well. I'm just asking. I know it's big right now, okay. so I'm asking people. Didn't about they just it. like legalize sports betting or something like that? Um, or like I, I know recently in Massachusetts. Like, I don't know about Massachusetts. That's I thought a good Massachusetts question. Massachusetts just like legalized it. They could have. Is fantasy football like sports betting, or is it different? I thought it's it was not, different. It's not. It's different. It's not sports betting. It's but like you people make, like, your, will, like, will a make fake bets. Team or something. Yes, you make a fake team, and then you could make bets within your group. But Do that's you think not they like have it. fantasy football, but it's like you can throw in anyone? I want Florence Pugh on my fantasy football <laughs> team. So, like, just random pe- celebrities? Just random people, you know? Like, I want Spongebob up in there. That would be fun. You make it, like, a video game almost simulation. Oh, my God. Like, that'd be cool. That would I'd be, be cool. That. So, I have some terms that I want to ask you that yeah. are related to fantasy football. Okay. And if you don't know what they are, th- then just try to guess what it stands for. Okay. okay. So, the first one is ADP. That sounds like a frat. Like, that literally <laughs> sounds like a frat. So what do you think, how a play, like, it's an acronym. What do you think it stands for? ADP. A dude playing. A dude playing? A dude playing. That's a good guess. Like, that's my ADP. That's <laughs> a dude playing. That's a good guess. It stands for average draft position, but that's a good guess. I like okay. that. I like how you're thinking. Um, next one, do you know what a bye week is? Mm, like, maybe, like, bi-weekly. Like, maybe, like, meet up with your... The people you're like doing fantasy football with and like do something with that like bi-weekly. So every 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 other every, like, week you other get week together. you like get together and talk about your like fantasy football. <laughs> I don't know. No, you're on the right track. <laughs> I'm not, it's not correct. Not it, correct. It's the week that a, every team in the NFL will have a week that they don't play. Oh. So that's like the week that they're off from the end, like from playing that week. So that's what that is. Yeah, that um, self care Sunday. I agree. Self care Sunday. Sunday. Exactly. They'll get their uh, nails done and everything like that. Oh my that. god! Literally. Um, the last one we got for you is PPR. 
you know what that stands for? Like, maybe like personal player record or something like that? Good guess, personal player record. It's not quite, it's uh, points per reception. Points per reception, okay. But you're on the right track. I like. You, I, think, I think you did a good job of guessing at least. I tried. I tried. <laughs> um, are you dating somebody right now? No. You're single? No, two of my exes go to Wentworth, which is up. It's like the colleges of the Fenway, so it's like yep. Mass Pharmacy School and Mass Art Wentworth Emanuel Simmons. Okay. So I have like two exes at Wentworth, which is hilarious. Two exes there? Yeah. Do they know each other? No, I, I kind of wish they were like roommates or something. <laughs> <laughs> like I hit up my ex, I was like, who are your sweet mates? Like, yeah, yeah, just to anyone, make sure. anyone named, I'm not going to say his real name, anyone named Ben? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just to kind of keep tabs, make sure that's Keeping there. tabs. Talking about you. Being so you nosy. still talk to your ex? Yeah. It's, it's, Yes, kind of. But do you still have a relationship with them, or is it more like you just talk? We're, like, both in the city, and we went to high school together, so it's, like, one of those okay. kind of things. All right. Um, now, I'm as, I'm, I ask that because I'm asking people about their breakup stories, if they have okay. a worse one that stands out, and whether that be you breaking up with somebody or they breaking them breaking up with you, whatever way it works. Mm. Does one stand out as being, like, memorable or, like, the worst... Quote unquote. The worst, the worst um, would actually be that ex from Wentworth. We we just like <laughs> didn't click. Yeah. And we were arguing over like whether the Elvis movie was good or not. <laughs> so this and was recently. We, yes. <laughs> and we were both like, I was like, I didn't like that movie, and he was like, I thought it was a good movie. Yeah. And then we were both like. Oh my god, like, are we really fighting over this? Like, what kind of, like, you mean a real fight, like, it turned into, like, a big thing? Just, like, bickering. No, not like a, not like that. Just, like, bickering. And then we were like, why are we doing this? Like, this yeah. is so weird. Like, trying to make the other person think that the, the movie was good or bad, and then you're like, I'm like, is it ever that deep? Yeah, yeah. You know? Totally. Um, no, but that's, like, the worst part, because, like, when you're dating someone that you argue with, it's so, like, intellectually stimulating in a weird way that yeah. you're, like kind of don't want to like not argue with them because I'm it's like at least you're like challenging me like yes, intellectually yeah. exactly and you're gotcha. like have your own thoughts and opinions on things so it's like ugh, tough it's fun but then also then maybe it goes too far type who who broke up with who in that he broke up with me he broke up with yeah, you yeah he was like you're too opinionated you're all like <laughs> argumentative I was like fair really then you took that well or were you upset I was super upset yeah. I was like Oh my god, it was crazy. I was super upset about it. Yeah. No, like, understandably. Yeah. What do you think you're most opinionated about if, like, if you had to put, like, narrow it down to a topic? If I had to narrow it down to a topic. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Um, I, get, I guess movies. I get, like, very opinionated <laughs> about movies. Yeah. Like, just for no reason. What's your like, top movie? What's your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie, um... It used to be Moonrise Kingdom by Wes Anderson, okay. but like it's about these like twelve year olds who like fall in love, and now it's kind of like weird to watch as an adult. Like, yeah, yeah. Because I watched it when I was twelve, and I was like, "That's adorable," and now I watch it, and I'm like, "Should I be on a watch list?" Yeah, why are kids on? Yeah, in love. I'm like, yeah. I feel kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about this one. So now I would say it's definitely Zola. It's this like A24 Zola. movie. It's based on a series of tweets, okay. and it's about this girl who like goes to Florida to like uh, work at a strip club. Okay. Um, but then like shit hits the kitchen fan it's like crazy okay yeah is it like a thriller type like a drama but like a kind of like a black comedy too okay yeah it's cool. um it's like you know like when a movie says based on a true story and yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like we're basically just gonna have hot people reenact this <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah definitely movies i think are a fun thing at least to be opinionated about because it's not that serious you know no yeah that's it's what like, I'm it saying. is fun so it's like i don't think that's a big deal and you'll find somebody that is loves movies maybe then you'll agree every time and then when you or at don't, least hates movies that i hate yes exactly right? exactly at least it's on the same wavelength like critiquing movies and then right that, that's it yeah um last question we have for you i'm asking everybody this because i feel like it's an age-old question uh do girls poop never no <laughs> never never right only on our birthday, actually. <laughs> Only uh, once a year on your birthday. On your birthday, yeah. Okay. It's you a treat. Do you know why that was? Like, how it's, why it's designed like that? No. Just, 
Just today, only on your birthday. The day you came out, then everything comes out. You just clean up the colon. Exactly. All right. That makes sense. And thanks for, I mean, yeah. a lot of people want to know this. So thanks for kind of getting, helping us get to the bottom. Thank you for giving me a microphone and <laughs> letting me talk. Of course. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Guilherme. I go by Guy. Sergio. Guy and Sergio? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What are you guys doing in Boston besides hitting up Target? MIT students, senior year. Let's fucking go. Yeah, senior All year. Right. Let's fucking rock it. Nice. You guys both go to MIT? Yeah. Yes, sir. What are you guys studying there? Me or mechanical engineering. Yeah, material science and engineering. Okay. Engineers. Nice. Yeah. Um, my brother went for materials. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Course three? Yeah. Course three. Let's go. <laughs> How you, you guys enjoying it? At least I am, yeah. It's final year, we're finally 21. Let's fucking rock it. Facts. I mean, it's senior year. I sure hope so by now. I'd be enjoying it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, besides all the ridiculously tough classes, I'm sure, with, like, science and all that jazz. But, um, nice, nice. What are your ambitions after, you know, once you graduate? What do you want to do? Where do you want to work? Move somewhere warm. Somewhere warm? Um, I actually don't know. I'm hopefully trying to stay in Boston, but, like, that depends on graduate school, like... I really don't know what I want to do after this. I'm still planning. Nice, nice. We'll Figuring out. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Any company that's like stand out to you guys that you're like, I want to, I love to work there? Boston Dynamics is cool, but I don't know. Oh, that's a good for course too. I, I, I think I can like throw out there 3M. That's the most material science company I know. Cool. Yeah. All right. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Um, you guys uh, do fantasy football? I don't really follow American football, to be honest. But World Cup's coming this year. Excited <laughs> for that. World Cup. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow football. I follow tennis, mostly. But I, I'm not really a sport person. But I will watch the Super Bowl when it is sure, it's yeah. on TV. Same. Like Super Bowl game. about it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, I got some fantasy football terms that I want to see if you guys can guess. Like what they mean, all right? Oh, shit. Uh, if you don't know, just give it your best guess. Um, so the first one is ADP. Yeah, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> I feel like average and points, but I don't know what the D is. ADP, ADP, ADP. Average downs per game or something? Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That sounds. Not a bad guess. Average Not... draft position. All right. Oh, well, okay. Not a bad guess. Average something. Um, okay, we got the A part. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, are, you, are you guys a little high right now or are you just giggling? I wish. I can tell you that. I mean, not as high as I was, but... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Wow. Wait, I mean, shit, since we're here, Medbin and Fenway, I mean, I'm not sponsored, but they're really cool. Really fuck with them. Yeah, what is that? Is that drop? It's a, light, it's a lighter. Oh, Medbin, yeah, right up there. Yeah, yeah, right down there. Absolutely. Local. Support local weed. <laughs> and beer, please. And beer. please. Gotcha. I love it. I love it. Um, next one we got for you, bye week. Do you know what a bye week yeah, is? It's whenever they don't play a game because it's like they don't have someone that... Yeah, I know. That one I know. That one I know. That one I know. You got that? You got That's that? That's call default. Last one we got is PPR. Do you know what that is? Points per... Points per round. Picks points per something. Picks might be it. I feel like... It, I think R is round. So I feel like points per round is... I'm, if it's not it, I feel like that one's closer, that's, but I don't know. Yeah, sounds about right. Almost there. Points per reception. Oh, but you got, got the it. points yeah. per... You, you always got Man. two out of the three. Yeah. So you guys... Yeah, we're doing okay. We're you doing guys are right on track. <laughs> um, you guys dating anyone right now? No, but I mean, uh, oh, that's not getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's complicated for you. Very well complicated. <laughs> Wait. How, how long has it been complicated? Like four months, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking your time with yeah. it. Definitely. Wait. Also, I definitely want the link to this after. I want to. I want to see the finished product for this. The people of Boston.com, You'll that. find everything there. Um, so why is it? Why is it uh, complicated? Oh, we're going deep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Shay, you said we had time. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> now I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, like, it's one of those things that's there, but it's also like... Relationships are hard? Yeah, no, they are. Like, commitment is hard. There's no yeah. such thing as love. It's just commitment. Especially Mark senior my words. year. Senior year, you're trying to figure out a lot yeah. of other We're only 21. We are 21. <laughs> yeah. We're barely 21. We are 21. <laughs> it's still early. still early. It is, but... Have you guys ever been broken up with or broken up with somebody? No. No? Yeah. High school, that was my last relationship. I think I caught it after that. I was like, I think I might have commitment issues. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say. <laughs> what happened? What happened in um in high school? How'd you guys? Nothing bad. Like I always end up in good turns, but it's just like this. 
like why am I even doing it if I'm like end up being like separated? So it's like kind of like a not hurt anyone type of situation. Now did you break up with her? She break up with you? It's mutual. Mutual? Yeah. Text message? No, person. person. <laughs> Thank God. It be, yes, it should be in person. In person. <laughs> in person. All right. Yeah. Should you always break up with somebody in person? You feel like, or are there exceptions? Like, no, I feel like there are exceptions. There are exceptions, but you should try. You should in try person, at least. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. yeah like, All right, like. You. <laughs> Dep- yeah, it depends how it ends. Like, if there's a mutual respect, like, you don't want to be rude, but at the same time, some people don't deserve your time of day. Damn! Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Uh, you might not be. Some people get lucky, they get a text. <laughs> are you speaking out of personal experience? Or are you- no, 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 personally, I, I, I'm fine. I just have some friends that personally I feel like could have done with that advice, but... Yeah. I'll stop there. All right, all right, that's fair. That's good advice, too. Um, last thing we got for you, it's an age-old question. Do girls poop? Of course. Like, I feel like this is one of the questions, like, oh, is, like, does Kim Jong-un poop? Yeah, of course, he's just lying about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the second person that said Kim yeah, Jong-un. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a common myth. Like, so you're I'll see why yes, would anyone think this unless it's well, like a myth. Ever, have you seen a woman poop before? And that's all I was gonna say. Like, I feel like it's true, but I haven't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> have you seen I before? haven't seen it, but they do it silently. <laughs> <laughs> it has to at some point, right? <laughs> There's usually a little more evidence with a poop than a fart. I mean, I've never seen a woman's uh, fecal matter. Yeah, I mean they're definitely better at flushing. So like, <laughs> <laughs> we live in a frat, so I can definitely say that women are better at flushing. Wait, I don't think if a female has seen my fecal matter, so I like I don't see why I would see theirs. Have <laughs> you walked into a bathroom after a woman's left, let's say, and then you, you smell something bad? Not really. Okay, I've never walked in after, but I used to work at this like arcade thing, and I will say I don't know why it was, but whenever we cleaned the bathrooms at the end of the day, the women's ones always smelled so much worse. <laughs> oh really? And okay, the dudes would be messier, but the women's ones smelled so much worse, <laughs> and I don't know what it was because it looked the same, or no, it didn't look the same. It was definitely cleaner, but like, it, it just smelled worse, and I don't yeah. know why. That's weird. Usually, I feel like there's candles in there and couches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Maybe like- it's because since it's so rare, they build it up, and so like you know what I mean, like yeah. all out at once. But I, I couldn't <laughs> tell you. All I know is Jesus Christ. Maybe there's some food poisoning that day from the from the uh, arcade you were working at. There's yeah, maybe they're just built better. They can deal with more, so it just like builds up. But like, <laughs> there we go. Hey yo. <laughs> right. Hey yo. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> But that's all we got for you guys. Thanks for stopping. Really no, yeah, we you saw you earlier, back. so I'm glad we got yeah, time to speak. But wait, what's your like handles or something? Like, where can I find this after? Yeah, so it's the People of Boston. So you can go to thepeopleofboston.com. Uh, dot com. Dot com. Just straight the 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 peopleofboston.com, and you'll find everything there. This will be like be like a full length interview like on the podcast and then on like TikTok and Instagram. I'm sure with you guys especially I got a lot of <laughs> I love that. I love <laughs> with that. the fucking giggling. And <laughs> <laughs> the- <laughs> Wait and when should we like expect this by I guess? Like when can I on uh, Monday. Monday? Alright bad. Uh, Monday it'll be out full thing and you'll hear the other people that I was talking to today as well. But- Alright, what's well, a pleasure? Have a good day brother. Hey, Absolutely good day. I enjoyed this. Take good care. Graduation and everything. What's your name? I'm Thomas. Thomas? Uh, Tristan. Tristan and you got Tristan? Tristan, yeah. Tristan. <laughs> Alright. Thomas and Tristan and and you guys are twins? We are. What are you guys doing in Boston today? So we're actually here to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, perform, as well as the Strokes. Awesome, awesome, yeah. yeah. That's at Fenway, right? Yep. Tonight? Yep. And I hear them warming up. Um, that'll be a good show. I'm excited, yeah. I actually saw, it's funny, I saw them last week in in Philadelphia. Oh, nice. And then he surprisingly came back home, and he was like, yo, I just bought a tickets to see them in Boston. I was like, let's go. Yeah, so. let's do it. Are you guys big fans? Uh, yeah, so uh, we actually used to really like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then we really liked the Strokes, and now they're performing together, so it's just Yeah, perfect. you can't beat that. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite songs? You got the same one or different favorite songs? Uh, you go, you my, go my favorite Red Hot Chili Pepper song is Wet Sand off of Stadium Arcadium. Okay. And then probably uh, Trying Your Luck for the Strokes. That was, okay. That was actually, he showed me that one, but... <laughs> yeah, so you guys are definitely avid listeners, because I, yes. I know Scar Tissue. Right. And I know, what's it, Under the Bridge? Or, Under the Bridge, yeah. Those the, are my the big two ones. songs. Those are the big ones. People love those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still bangers, but... Yeah. Do you know, and I looked this up before because I saw they were coming to Fenway, do you know how they got their name, the Red Hot Chili Peppers? I I, I knew once upon a time, I actually read Anthony Kiedis' book, Scar okay. Tissue, yeah. and I remember there was... Oh, no. Yeah, there was... No, I, I, it said it in the book for sure, and I remember learning about it, but I can't remember. Do you have any guesses? Any idea? 
I honestly don't. Right? I mean, I, 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 I like him. I feel like I have heard it before, but I not off the top of my head. No. All right. So, and this is attributable to a, like a quick Google search. Okay. Oh, this, yeah. I guess it's Louis Armstrong's. It's based off Louis Armstrong's quintet. Okay. From the twenties, like jazz qu quintet. Right. And they were called the Hot Five. I okay. guess they must have liked them or something or whatever, or, or just got inspiration from the Hot Five and called themselves the Red Hot Chili. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that would be cool to see if anybody actually knew that. I had no idea before. I had no idea up, either. But, um, <laughs> now that I think about it. So are you guys from Boston or just here for the concert? We're actually both from, uh, I mean, obviously we're twins, but we're from Chicago. Oh, okay. So we're both actually in the Navy. And uh, Oh, nice. Thanks for your service, both of you guys. You. Yeah, we're stationed in Groton right now, but... Nice. I mean, it's a two-hour drive here, so I'm we from figured. Connecticut. Oh, really? Yeah, so I know that. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. That's why I'm here right now. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is actually our first time in Boston. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So I'm excited. We got to go to Yard House after the show. Really? Got, uh, yeah. Got a huge bar with a huge, a lot of beer. I don't know if you guys like beer or what you guys like to drink. I do like beer. <laughs> but they got a lot of beers there. Oh okay, um, yeah. Yeah, a lot of beers to choose from there. So Yard cool. House right down the road. Okay. I'll look nice into place. it. Nice But um, I got a couple questions for you guys as well after getting to know you. A little bit. Go for it. Um, first one we got for do you guys play fantasy football? Or do you I, I football? do. I'm actually I actually recently joined the league. I wasn't going to. Um, and then it was kind of a last minute thing, but yeah, I So I you're do. in a league. Are you in a league? So, <laughs> so because of this whole Navy thing, uh, I'm a huge fantasy football player, but I, I didn't have any time for drafts because yeah, yeah. you know we were gone and uh, so I got back and I was just happy to be back for week one, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. So you're in a league, but you're not in a league. Not a league, no. <laughs> Does your league have any punishments coming up for like the losers and more like throw a couple bucks in? So, so it, I kind of like I said, I just joined it, so I don't really know. Yeah. It's it's all guys in the Navy, so we're all like there's a lot of guys across like the seas and what whatnot, so. Really, it's just, it's not really a together league, but I'm just part of it. Last year, we were part of a league that was a little bit more, was a little bit more local. Did I just flip this off? I no, it's okay. That doesn't even work out. Okay, got so it. You're good. You can okay, flip cool. around as much as you want. Um, but yeah, so last year, we actually played for a $1,000 diamond ring. Wow. And I actually won it. Um, still haven't received the ring yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's in charge of that? Yeah, exactly. That, that was my question. I actually came up recently. There was a little bit of drama about it. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be pissed too. A thousand dollars? Yeah, I, I won it, and... Commissioner never got around. Yeah, commission. <laughs> yeah, he likes to think he's a good commissioner. I, yeah. I don't know, but... Seems like he's slack. <laughs> so we yeah. got some... I got two uh, quick terms for you to okay. see if you guys know what these are. Um, do you know what a bye week is? Yes. What's a bye week? Bye week is when a team, or in this case for fantasy, a player has a week where he's not going to be playing, so you have to sub in for him yeah. or not. Yeah, that, that one I figure most guys at least would know that. Yeah. How about, um, and if you don't know, just try to guess right. what it stands for, PPR. Yes. Yeah, points per reception. Yeah, 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 that's it. All right, yeah, I thought yeah, I'd maybe uh, trip somebody up. But. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm in a big... Uh, I, I don't know. It's a big deal for fantasy, so like, I don't know. We were really into it, so those are kind of the terms that I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Like, yeah. What a lot about of ADP? Uh, oh, wait, uh, average draft position. Yeah, 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 man. You guys are on it. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So you guys passed that test. Cool. Um, and anything? Do you know? You don't know if there's a, a prize this time. You know, the thousand dollar ring last year. No, like I said, last year we were part of this league, but You're new since we were in the since we were in the Navy, yeah, like things didn't work out. Considering now we're at the boat, so yeah. now I'm just in a new league. It doesn't. No Why did you guys deals. choose the Navy military route? Uh, uh, question. As didn't didn't want to go to college, so yeah. so that was the biggest reason. And now I'm sucked into it for the next four. Well, uh, we've been in for two years now. I'm in it for the next four, so. Okay, next four years. Yeah. Um, do you think that, like, the Army-Navy kind of, I guess, drama there, yeah, are, are you guys partaking in that? It's it's fun. Um, it's more... <laughs> it's, yeah, you got to distract yourself with something. It's yeah. more like, I don't know, it's more just a little... Yeah, it's, it's not a big deal to a lot of people in the Navy, but it's fun to just look at and say, hey, we won there, or you guys won. It's bigger yeah. for the officers because... Uh, it's bigger for the officers because, like, that's actually their school. So, yeah. like, the Naval Academy, that's the Navy team playing, and the yep. West Point is the Army, Army team. Yep. So, more so for officers, it's a big deal, especially them who are actually in college because they're the ones going to the game. Uh, and, I and I mean, just in general, too. Like, I just saw a TikTok this morning of this woman who's married to an, uh, an, a sergeant in, in the Army. Right. And she's wearing a Navy shirt, and he starts getting pissed off. Yeah. 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 Do you think that's fun? Is it, like, is it, like... I mean, it's, it's part of the brotherhood, I guess. It's I mean, part of it. Yeah, everyone, everyone knows that you're going to be brothers in arms, but 
you know, you're on different branches, so you gotta fuck with the other guys. You gotta fuck with the. It's more of like camaraderie. Thing. Yeah, it's it's just a it's just a fun thing to do. It's like yeah. nobody really takes it seriously, or at least they shouldn't. The people yeah, who yeah. do, those are the people you look down on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so um, we got through the fantasy questions. Uh, are you guys dating anyone right now? I'm not. No, no. no. Both single. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, um, do you, have you guys dated someone before in the past? Yes. yes I, I am. So no girlfriend up to this point. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Why is that? I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. This is this is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, how old are you? How old are you guys? I recently turned twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, honestly, I always just kind of kept waiting. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. And so, you know, you keep waiting and waiting. And then, like, throughout high school, I was like, oh, it's kind of stupid. No one's going to get married. No one's going to, like, it was whatever. And so, yeah. now now I see it a little bit differently. Now I'm like, yeah, it'd be fun to have a girlfriend. But being in the Navy, literally, it's... Uh, my interaction with women is, like, probably... A hundred guys to to one woman like yeah. per day. On base. Not even yeah. not even on joking. Base, definitely, like yeah. on base, like yeah. we live on base, so like you and it's a submarine base, so it's all guys working on the submarine. Yeah, there is. It's like just my only interaction with with women are actually just hey I go to a coffee shop or I go to a restaurant and I see them there that's like my only interactions yeah and even then it's like I don't know at that point it's just a little weird I just I don't know the Navy really disrupted things but throughout high school I just didn't really think it was important so in high school you just yeah you just didn't want to get involved in that. yeah I was like yeah I mean play I, sports or other things like yeah, that we had, and you're just we had like sports jobs a lot of things that went on that I just thought there's not enough time for that but. gotcha now there's really not enough time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. And, and you said you had a girlfriend. Yes, uh, uh, actually, yeah, I had one actually back when we were in Charleston for the Navy. So okay, that was kind of that was kind of it. <laughs> so I'm asking, what's people's worst breakup story, whether it be for themselves or that they maybe did like they broke up with someone? Did you break up right. with this woman? Or so did you break- yes. Uh, Oh, that Unfortunately, happened. I wasn't in a mind state to like do long distance. Uh-huh. She was not going to be where I was, obviously, because I was coming to Groton. Yep. And I was like, she kept asking me, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I kept telling her, I was like, ah, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm ready and all this stuff. And basically, it kind of fizzled out. <laughs> and, fizzled out? Do you mean like nobody said we're going to I mean, done? I mean, I told her, I was like we're not going to be together anymore and then i was like yeah it's going to hurt a little bit but yeah i'll i'll still talk to you and that was probably a mistake but <laughs> yeah how did she handle that she was upset very upset. upset i was probably a little i mean i was upset too i just didn't show it as much just yeah. cuz that's how i don't know usually guys are that way yeah, yeah. go home and yeah i was get upset <laughs> about it i was upset at home not at, not when i was telling her <laughs> yeah yeah um do you think you could have handled it better Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, like, towards the end of our time down in Charleston, I, like, introduced her to my family because they were all there to watch us leave Charleston. Yeah, and <laughs> then she got this, and I was it was my mistake. I just wanted to have a good time. I was trying to enjoy my last times in Charleston. Yeah. And I introduced her to, like, you know, all my all my family, my, my brother. My, it was, like, a my sign that brother. this is maybe serious. Right, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then she... Yeah. Because, like, that night she asked me, all right, so what is this? I was like... It's the same same deal though. And that, was, yeah, that, was, that was the worst part. So. Nothing's changed. You just met my old thing. Right, yeah. right. I, I definitely confused her, and that and was see, on me. Yeah, and I see why for you maybe. Right. You're not seeing it like that at the right. Time. No, not yeah, not at all. I was just trying oh. to enjoy my last times in Charleston. So totally. all right, cool. Um, last thing we got for you is: Do you think now this is a little bit corny? That's fine. But do you think that girls poop? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked this, because uh, <laughs> uh, this comes up a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I, I would say so. Uh, yeah. You know, there's that thing about like Kim Jong Un doesn't poop, like as people don't think, but uh, I don't think they're like that. No, I think okay. they do. Yes. You think they do? Okay. Do you think so? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it, <laughs> no. I mean, it's I've never seen one do it, right? That's so I mean, that's my follow question. That's some evidence. Is, that's some evidence, true. and so I don't know. It's just like I'm a reality-based person, so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, so I, have I, you ever seen a, a woman pooper like actually, no, actually no, squat? No, which is why you got me questioning now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I, I don't know about at least for myself. I never walked into a bathroom after a woman and it stunk. That's true. Um, so yeah, I don't just know. wanted to see what people thought. No, that's that's you know, like you said, life's mysteries, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One of life's great mysteries. Exactly. All right, guys, that's all we got for you. Right, Thanks well, so much. It. What's your name? Matt. Matt. You have like a TikTok or some shit? 
Um, yeah, so if you go to the peopleofboston.com, uh, that's where you can find like all the links. But we got like a TikTok, and then there's the podcast where like there'll be the full length of like oh, you really? guys talking, okay. like not even edited, just like the full that's thing. Fine. I've been in instances where in classroom, in a classroom participation, I raise my hand and say, uh, two plus one's three. They invite the classroom, three, ha, ha. 